Hello, my name is Sheer. I'm with Three Breath Yoga in Wichita, Kansas. We are a collection of teachers who want to help people connect to themselves so they can figure out what they need to do to heal. You know, a lot of the times people will come to the yogi or the yoga teacher wanting a whole lot and we can help, but a lot of the times you need help outside of what we can do too. You know, there's really not a lot of things that are just the one and done. You know, like if you have physical injuries, it's a good idea to consult like a physical therapist alongside of this, just to make sure that, you know, they're, they're specialized, trained in specific injuries, whereas we're more of a whole system sort of thing. Most schools of yoga assume that A, your body is in tip top condition and you can do all of these things. The key, if you have limits, is to know them and to not press past them and to just really be where your body's at and press through it. Whenever we push ourselves too hard, we tend to break. And we see this a lot in the working class, a lot in the industrial era. It's like, oh, we need to work 14 hours a day, 30 days a week, or we're failing. Well, you know, we also gotta sit still or we won't heal. You know, you look at the factory worker who throws out their back. The factory's like, well, we need you to come back because we need your man hours. And it's like, well, I need to heal. Well, you can't heal, you need to come back to work. You know, they may give you two weeks off to do connective tissue fixing, but it doesn't work that way. It takes quite a bit longer. Yesterday I was asked by a teenager like, how can I buy money? And I straight up told him, I was like, with your time spent. Which is, you know, we trade our life for this paper. <laughs> and at some point we have to realize that we need to take our lives back. You know, you could work a regular job and still be content and happy and truly like at peace with yourself. But a lot of us dwell in this state of constant suffering. We dwell in this, just conditioned of, well, I got this job, so I have to keep it for life. That's what I was trained to do, so that's what I'm gonna do. And that ain't right. That is not right. <laughs> if you're not happy, do something about it. If you feel that things are out of sync in your life, make change. If you are constantly in pain, whether it's mental, physical, spiritual, emotional, whatever, seek out ways to help that until you really advocate for yourself you can't blame anything else for your problems. You have to be your power. You have to be your power. We tend to want to go to external sources for these things. It can work, but it's hollow. Until you build yourself up internally, strengthen your systems, strengthen your resolve, Get into that mind and push out all that negativity and pull in the fact that you are a complete, beautiful human being. Until you do this, chances are your brain's gonna go wild. That suffering stick's gonna be very, very, very big in you. You know, suffering is growth, oftentimes. We have to be in pain before we realize we need to do something. Humans, we've learned the hard way. It's like, don't do that, you're gonna do this. <laughs> do that, it takes you four times to learn it, that's okay. So what I'm getting at, advocate for yourself. If you hurt, make change. Let's fix that hurt. If something in your life is out of sync and does not serve you, take a deep look at it under a lens. If your mind runs wild and you can't ever tame it and you have past traumas, find a psychologist or a psychiatrist that can help you. Meditate daily, connect to your breath. And ultimately, you do what serves you. This life is temporary. Spending the entirety of it doing something you don't like is a waste. You know, maybe it's a stepping stone for you to go in the right direction. But we ultimately, we just have to do what serves us. We have to feel ourselves out and know that we are self-love. We are self. We are love.
Thank you.